What he's doing now, what Kenny is doing now, he's got a heat gun, which is much more powerful than a uh, hair dryer, even though it looks like a hair dryer. And what he's going to do is get it nice and soft, and then he's going to demonstrate. Uh, I was wondering if we can put you in a better position so you're not back as anything on right now. After he heats it up, you guys might want to come back up and watch him with his camera and dolly how he's going to actually work the uh, work the plastic. Okay, it's pretty hot to get fire. the gun off to grab, that's called a dolly, it's just a piece of steel, a machine piece of steel, and then he just rubs it back and forth trying to bring it in. And when he does it again, if you want to step up and look, you're welcome to look at it, that's not a problem. He's doing it, he's doing it faster today than what usually, just, but this would be considered like a six hour repair. Oh, 3M gives a tab. Uh, plastic repair um, reference guide, and it tells you, this is an older one, but it tells you what to use on certain certain things like tabs, this is different, and then it gives you line by line of uh, how to do it, what to do, and the different products that are going to be used in the process of doing it. It's, it's actually a uh, mobile guide. Oh, it is. And if anybody ever gets approached at Home Depot or Walmart or something, that guy said, well, you're in there, I can fix your car for a hundred bucks, run from that guy. <laughs> Pocket pretty well. Now he's taking care of the crease that was in the bumper. It was a dish down, about eight inches long. So what put a, uh, a new bumper shell off the owner? A new bumper in this car I think was about $650. Where it would have been fixed. The time to fix it would have been $300 and the paint time is the same. So, you know, basically have to cost it apart by repairing it. So if you get the new bumper, it comes in uh, what I find out all the ones. There's a lot of science, there's a lot of art. Hey, real quick. He's got, if you want to come up here and look at how he's got it pretty well back into place. And now what he's going to do is take a DA and sand it down so that he can put his filler in there to make it nice and smooth. Where eventually the filler kind of comes out right. and back to where you are. Well, this different kinds of filler for different plastics. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm trying to get out of the way. <laughs> I'm using this one, You've got that chart? Yeah, but 3M makes different plastics. For different, if it's cracked, you use one of them. If you're filling, you use a different one of them. But 3M, what it is, is basically it's a plastic. They just put it back on there. And what he's going to do is he's going to sand it down. And then he will spread that on there. He spreads it on there like Bondo, but it's an actual plastic. It's not a Bondo material. JD. Promoter for the 3M plastic to stick bind into this plastic. Is 
every time that he puts adhesive on, he's going to have to put a new tip on because the tips dry relatively quickly. So every time he spreads it on, if he comes back for 20 minutes later and needs more, he's got a bit of plastic, and that's the way it comes out of the tube. So, uh, one plunger might be in a quarter inch further than the other, so it comes out always the same proportions. Yeah, so there's no guesswork when it comes to that. Watch your work. <laughs> <laughs> He's used to having me stand over him. <laughs> Put that on there, and then uh, wait for it to dry, and then he's going to go back to sanding it. Part of it will be with the DA, just knock, knock down the high spots, and the rest will be done by hand, so it's nice, flat, and smooth, and you'll never be able to see it. And it takes about a good half an hour before you find it to dry, right? Right. Yeah.